Thank you. Oh, it is winter out there. This is the first snow of the winter. What'd you find? Rabbit tracks. Rabbit tracks. All right, so there's nature nuggets out here. You can see the rabbit Aww. tracks going that direction. And coming back this and way. And then there's another set of tracks going that direction. So there are nature nuggets out here. about 7.30 in the morning. It's cold outside. The snow looks nice. Beautiful. Fire's gonna get warm here in a second. It's catching. I lit it with just one match today. Oh, I love when that happens. Yeah. So we're just uh, Cleaning up. doing our morning thing. We put away the dishes. We're normal humans. <laughs> yeah, it's messy in here. Yeah. Still. <laughs> but it's our place. Yeah. And we like it. The fans are starting to turn. One of them at least. So these little fans here are pretty interesting. You set them on top of the wood burning stove, and once there's a little thermal electric generator right in between these two pieces, the top half and the bottom half. Once it gets up to about 200 Fahrenheit, uh, then it starts producing electric. You can see how that one just started to rotate. I didn't touch it or anything. It's just a byproduct of, of heat. Um, I'll get more into that here in other videos, but I was gonna see about possibly getting more of those thermoelectric generators and putting them together to potentially charge our batteries while it's snowy out and there's no sun because right now we're not producing any solar so we're gonna have to turn the generator on here in a little while um, so that would be an interesting way to capture energy from this supposedly they're not very efficient but if we're burning this anyway, any electric we do get off of it is more than if we hadn't done anything at all. So I think there's a trade-off for everything and we have to just uh, figure out what that is and is it worth the experimentation to see if we can pull it off. I think it is. Today, colder. Cloudy with snow in the morning, then partly sunny in the afternoon. Snow accumulation of 1 to 2 inches. Highs in the lower 20s. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of snow 80%. Tonight, very cold. Partly very cold. Lows 3 to 9. <laughs> Northwest winds around 10 miles an hour. So, what I'm doing, we were really lucky and found some cherries the other day and they were really yummy. What we're doing is just, I soaked the seeds in this bowl for I think two days. That might be too long. I just didn't get to them yesterday. And now this morning I'm going through and I'm just making sure that I got all the fleshy bits off of the seeds and I'm scratching them off with my fingernail. Now I'm just gonna set them 
and spread them out on a paper towel to dry. This is a ton of cherry seeds and we probably don't need all of them, but you never know which ones are gonna germinate. So then they sit out like this. And the last time I did this, um, they took a long time to dry. It was probably like two weeks just sitting out and that was in the summer. <laughs> so these are gonna be sitting here for a while. I'm not gonna like dehydrate them or anything. I'm just gonna let them sit there and do their magic on their own. We'll save whichever ones we don't put in the ground. And that's that. We're super excited to grow some cherries. I don't know how long it takes to get fruit, probably like a couple years, but it's never too late to get started. Start sprinkle. Oh no! Whoa! You got four. Four swatter handles. Yep, yeah, baby! Yeah! Excited? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think that even though using the circular saw is nice, um, we might need to get a table saw. Oh, darn. I know. Poor ass. I know. <laughs> First time I've ever done something like fix a boot on a sewing machine. It's not amazing. I backstitched right here, so I think what I'm gonna do is rip out just a few of these stitches because that looks a little ugly and just see how it holds up. And because I fixed it myself, I should have no problem fixing it again if I need to. What do you think? There's room for tweaking. So it's kind of loud, our generator's on right now. I gotta say, it is the best working on crafts first thing in the morning. Really fun. This is the first time we've done this, where we wake up and work on crafts. Well, these kind of crafts. Ooh. It's cold. Two more to do. Countdown time. Yeah, so these are the handles, rough sawn. I got the holes drilled for the rivets and then for the little lanyard or for the holding strap. And now I'm just putting a little shine on it. Uh, I might need new sandpaper soon. This one's starting to get a little worn. <laughs> I was getting a little too crazy on this middle, so now I'm working the edges. <laughs> eagles today. Lost them. You can keep going, baby. Three bald eagles today on our wedding day. Hi! Oh, hello there. Didn't see you there for a second. You're on our dashboard. It's a big day today. It is a big day today. Mm -hmm. We're cruising through 
The Ozarks of Missouri. Yep. We saw three bald eagles so far today. We saw a big hawk mowing down on a deer. Eaten. Uh, how many hawks have we seen? Five. Five hawks today so far. Five so far. Pretty sweet. So we got up early this morning so that uh, we could make it to the courthouse. Had a court date. We look awfully nice though. for your court date. Thanks. Garcia. We're, we're not in trouble though, come to find out. <laughs> we got married. <laughs> this lady to this guy. Or this guy to that lady. Wait, we got a certificate. Yeah. Super official. Yeah. Super official. We got married within like 10 minutes of being there. Yeah, yeah, they're done. super efficient, super efficient. Yeah. Had a nice crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the judge was smiley. Yeah. It was really cool. Super, super, super official. Yeah, super yeah. official. He had like the gown on and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, had some nice vows. Yeah. That was sweet. Now we're married. Yeah, roll the vows. Is that funny? We're gonna roll the vows? Yeah, like the B roll? Part of it. Yeah, part of it. Whole thing? Maybe just part Good. of it. Yeah. We come here today to join this man and this woman in matrimony. <laughs> now, by the authority vested in me as a judge of the state of Missouri in the presence of these witnesses, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. So now we're going to take the day off, whatever yeah. that means. Yeah, we're going to go eat some Mexican food. Yeah. By the sounds of it. We found a little dive Mexican food place just in the middle of nowhere. You think it's a dive? I think it's a dive, I yeah. think it's cute as cute. I think it's going to be super cute. The pictures that we've seen online look like it's like an official, legit, like, I'm going to go in there speaking Spanish and see what happens. We're going to eat real, authentic Mexican yeah. food, which makes both of us so happy. Super happy. Husband. Oh, yes, my sweet little wife. Mmm, <laughs> this is really good. I got a little too. <laughs> that is some serious snow out there. Those fluffy flakes. Oh my gosh, the tent. Bit of a snow load up here. Snow load. Snow load. <laughs> oh, the snow is so soft. Careful, baby. So we got some snow on the solar panels. Snow over there also. Just the other day, we were sitting right here, enjoying the sun. Now, we are pushing snow off the solar panels. Uh, it doesn't stick very well, so that's good. I just bent the thing, the handle. This is not meant for snow. And this is all ice. Oh, it might be SOL on this one, kids. Might have to get a different apparatus. Something stronger meant for pushing snow. Shit. Look at that. Well, that didn't work too well. 
that's pretty frozen right there and I don't have a scraper uh, that's long enough to, to hit that spot. It's beautiful up here, don't get me wrong, but this uh, water um, squeegee, the pole must have seen better days. I think we got this maybe from Aaron's grandma, maybe? I forget who we got this from. Uh, so who knows how old it is. Uh, but there's a lot of snow still here on the roof. I'm thinking of pushing it off somehow, so I might get the shovel maybe, or maybe a broom and push it off. Let me see what I got. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> I lost the head this time. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. I don't really want to use a shovel on the panel. That probably is not the best option. We might have to find a, a snow pusher of some kind at the store because uh, I don't want to damage those panels. That would be a, a bad thing to do. <laughs> it is bright out here. I don't even have any sunglasses. I'm not sure where my sunglasses went. Uh, somehow, in between Canada and here, I lost my sunglasses. Now I'm just using my naked eyes. All right. How you doing? Doing good. This uh, snow's coming off nice with the shovel. I'm trying to go light so I don't scratch the wood too much. It's snowing here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, I just closed my hair in it. I'm just dorking it up. We're gonna have a video for you guys. Aaron's getting some wood ready for the cubic mini wood burning stove. Chopping wood and preparing wood. Well, first, just chopping wood is part of our every two days thing that we do. Yeah, there's the axe she's using. I kinda love it, not to, I don't wanna lie, I love it. She loves it, check this out. Look at this thing we built. It's a little noisy, we got the generator running right now. But we've got a little generator shed for running shore power when the sun's not out too much. It's all coming along. 